Hi guys, hope you're doing well. So after so long, I'm here to record a video. Basically, I was stuck in this task the previous three to four days and then finally I did it and then it came in my mind that it should be beneficial for others. So basically, this is the point uh, or this is the video about how to complete uh, address using Google API inter uh, integration in my Webflow project. So basically, this is my Webflow project and uh, in which uh, my client need and this is Webflow basically e-commerce project. And you know, the Webflow e-commerce is more sensitive. Uh, so basically, my client uh, wants that in uh, Webflow e-commerce checkout page, she wants auto complete address option for uh, the clients of other users like uh, whatever the address is um, entered uh, not only the address but also the city part state part and the postal code part should be extracted and uh, can be placed in their respective parts so auto complete address generation is required by my client and i achieve this by integration of google apis uh, in my webflow uh, project using javascript so in order to achieve this result in webflow like i already uh, used here you can see like let's suppose this is my address and I select this and then basic address then uh, the city address state address and the zip code if there is any so uh, this is the uh, required result by my client and I achieve this so let's move to uh, the part that how I achieve this result so basically this can be achieved by um, in two steps the first step is uh, uh, generate an API key in Google uh, cloud platform and then integrate it in webflow using javascript so let's move to the first part that is generation of api keys in google cloud platform so first uh, go to the google and search google cloud platform and then in google cloud platform just click on this link and then click on get started for free And here you can choose whatever the account you want or whatever the account uh, you want to uh, use for the Google Plat uh, Google Cloud Platform. And then here you can uh, uh, say agree and continue. Okay, this is the point where this uh, basically wants the credit card information. And uh, once you enter your credit card information, it will give you 300 credits for free. So for testing purpose, of any, uh, for any purpose, you can uh, use this platform free. Uh, but at first, you have to um, uh, insert your credit card information for uh, getting sign up in this platform. Uh, as I already did this, did this step, so I'm skipping this step and moving to my uh, direct account. Okay, when you started and you entered your um, uh, account information or your credit card information, you will just uh, um, get uh, some uh, dashboard like this. And uh, here, along with the logo on the right side of this logo, you can uh, see the name of projects. If there is uh, already some projects that I created for my work is here. If you don't have any project already created, you can create a new project like this. And then just give some name to your project, give the name of organization, give the name of location, then just click create and your project will be created like this. I'm skipping this uh, step as I already have my project, so I'm going to cancel it. And here is my project. I just click it on it and this is my project. And if you create a new project, your new project will also appear here. You, so you can proceed by clicking on this project. Okay, this was my first step. My project is created. Now the next step. Okay, the next step is here to click the menu. When you click the menu, you can see the API services. Just go to the enable API and services. Okay. Once you reached here, you can see this link enable API and services. Just click it. Okay. Now this is the most important point while creating Google APIs uh, for autocomplete address in your um, any website project using JavaScript. So don't forget uh, as I was stuck uh, in my this task for last three to four days because I was doing something wrong in this step. So this is the most important step. So be listen, be care, listen carefully. Okay, you have to enable these two. Uh, these two are mandatory. 
uh, you can enable all these other things but it's uh, as per your requirement but for uh, right now as we need autocomplete uh, addresses using google api for autocomplete address options for autocomplete task we need these two apis to whom they must be enabled so first click it and enable it here you can see the, uh, I, the manage because i already enabled this but instead of manage when you, for, uh, you when you open it at uh, very uh, for the first time uh, the button of enable is there and you just you have to click this that enable button but as i already enabled it that's why i have the manage button here number one after enabling this places api you have to uh, enable this maps javascript api again i am saying that it's very important you have to uh, just enable these two apis they are must for autocomplete option in your websites so uh, again this is enabled uh, in my project uh, if it uh, it was not enabled then you can see the option of enable button but as i, I already uh, enabled it so i am seeing the manage option so i'm going back so after enabling these two apis just click on the menu and then api service and then go to the credentials okay as i already created my api key that's why it's existing there but if you don't have any api key and you don't create your api key so you have to and if you are at the very first time or you or you are on the dashboard so this is the second step you have to create content credential when you create a click on create credential you have the option of api key just click this api key and your api key will be generated like this And this is the key uh, api key i all already have so i'm going to close this i don't want this api key as uh, this is the api key which i'm using in project so uh, when you uh, this is for the learning purpose for you people that how you can create your api key so you can create this one then create key and your api key will be here then you can say show key and your key is, will be visible to you and you can copy this api key from here so i am going to delete this api key because it's none of my business this is the api key which i used in my project okay the first part that we have to generate our api key uh, from our uh, google cloud platform is done this is the first part which is required for autocomplete address so let's move to the webflow and see how we in integrate this key in our project and uh, we achieve our results so back to the webflow and in the checkout page setting as i uh, okay 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 let's move to the design first here is my checkout page and in this checkout page uh, basically this is my uh, field where I want uh, my uh, address to be um, auto suggested by Google API integration and be careful about the IDs because in JavaScript we will use these IDs so the ID of this address then ID of this city input then ID of this province input and the ID of this postal code input so be careful about the IDs because these are the same IDs which we will use in our uh, JavaScript code. So let's move uh, in our custom code part and in this checkout page, just click to the setting. It will lead to the page setting and then in the page setting, here is the script. Okay, this script part, I will provide this script part um, in my uh, description box. You can just copy and paste it from there and you can use and your uh, projects you have just changed two things your api key uh, uh, in the uh, in the top part and then in this part you have to change these ids which i show that this is my city uh, uh, this is my zip input id then city input id input field id then state input field id similarly the address input field ID. so you have to change these four ids plus as per your requirement your um, uh, uh, api key which you generated from google api so you have to replace these five things and then this part basically i restricted my address uh, that address suggestion address, uh, suggested addresses should be from us and canada 
so these this is the restriction that i have applied and then i simply extract all of things and then place uh, them according to my requirement you can change this code as per your requirement so that's all and the first part is from api uh, google platform google cloud platform and the second part is integration of that api in webflow using javascript and then save it and then close it 